say she'll be fine. She's young. It'll heal easy. She's fine. She liked the bear and the chocolates. Huh? It's hardly spoiling her. And the song. And the song, sweetie. And I got the DJ to play her a song on the radio. Yeah, well, I'll be here for another half hour till visiting time is up. Yeah, they say she'll be fine. She's young. It'll heal easy. Yeah, they say she'll be fine. She's young. It'll heal easy. She's fine. She liked the bear and the chocolates. Huh? It's hardly spoiling her. And the song. And the song, sweetie. And I got the DJ to play her. A Calling Al Camilla Radio. Your request has been selected for broadcast. Get well soon. Just call 555 881 and for the final digit, use the number of the tune you want from our top 10 list. Keep listening. As requested, here's a popular tune Daddy's Girl. Or rotten, you know. She's gonna get fat, sitting in bed all day eating chocolates. He's trying to make me feel bad. Are you okay? supposed to be here today. It's my day off, but we were three nurses down because of the weather. Damn it. I wasn't supposed to be here. I shouldn't have been here. Hey. Sorry. I'm just upset. Don't worry, it's nothing. Shouldn't we take you inside? I'm ready to go home. My apartment is a few blocks north. I can clean myself up there. I'm heading that way. Let me walk you. Lisa? I'm okay, really. But you can keep me company. I'm Harry. My apartment isn't far. We've got the wind behind us. The freezing wind. You cold? I'm too tired to feel it. You know the average ER nurse gets less than five hours sleep a night? I read that in a newsletter. Ronald Reagan ran the country on five hours of sleep a night. I saw that on TV. Yeah, but he got to sit down a lot. The nurse is on her feet all day. And night. I don't need a man in my life. I need a really good podiatrist. What is it you do, Harry? Well, not a podiatrist. Figures. I'm a writer. Wow. I didn't know Silent Hill had a famous writer. <laughs> Hardly famous. Have I heard of any of your books? My mom reads a lot. Bet she's read one. Maybe. I wrote a romance series called Longing for the Moon. That was popular with moms. Romance? My agent tells me I have great insight into the female imagination. You could put me in one of your books. Life and death drama in the ER. One girl search for love. The nurse falls for the dashing doctor? There are no dashing doctors. They're all alcoholics and perspire too much. I always fall for the guys who look like my dad. 
and then regret it the next day. Cute. If you were a real writer, you'd be taking notes. Don't you all carry notebooks to write everything down? Not me. I've got a photographic memory. Not far now. You still feeling okay? Yeah. Fine. So tell me about your daughter. Cheryl? She's, uh... She's young, bright, happy. <laughs> Likes collecting stuff, you know, bits and pieces, bugs. She loves bugs. Bugs? Like dirty, creepy bugs? No, no, butterflies, but pretty bugs. She has a collection. Dead ones? Yeah. Still creepy. Not really. You seem to see the creepy in everything. Is that a nurse thing or just you? Definitely a nurse thing. We have a unique outlook on life. Whatever happened to Bedside Manor? We still got that. For a special case. Here we are. My apartment is just around the corner. Used to belong to the super. It's a lot bigger than the others, but I only pay standard rent. The landlord has a thing for nurses. Grab a seat. I'm just gonna get out of these things. I oughta... Uh-uh, you're not running off yet. Warm up before you head back out there. I haven't thanked you yet. Five minutes, come on, sit. Sit! Watch some TV if you want. I won't be long. You know, last time I had a guy in my apartment, it was summer. During the heat wave. Now it's winter. Freaky early, but still. Time flies. I saw you looking. I was... Oh, don't ruin it making excuses. I take compliments where I can get them. <clears throat> you okay? Headache. Can you get me some pills? There's some in the cabinet in the bathroom. Bring me some of the blue ones. Okay. Shelf. 